What's up, little chicks? How y'all doing, little chicks? Yeah, enjoying that little sun? They seem to be enjoying their little cage. We just got that today. It was a little flea market deal. It's 10 bucks for a big old bird cage. But it works great for our little baby chicks. We're pr probably going to get a few more this weekend. So they may not all fit there. So we got to build a coop. So that's what we're doing today. We got to build them a nice little coop. And since I like symmetry, I'm going to build it exactly the same as the goat side but on the other side if you haven't seen the goat pen video yet i'll link it somewhere up here or in the description and make sure you check it out how you actually uh build a nice little goat pen for quick easy and now we're gonna build a chicken coop so i'm gonna show you exactly where that's gonna go in the water i gotta get all that filled in with dirt they can't be living in the water but if you didn't check out the video of the goat pen i'll show you a little preview but make sure you check it out it's a lot more extensive a lot more fun and you can get to see this goat pen a lot better what's up goats there's that big boar billy how you doing there big one so yeah we're getting the tractor warmed up once it's warmed up we're going to change the attachment to the backhoe and then with the backhoe we're going to dig a little hole somewhere in the back because it's a little hill up there grab all that dirt put it over here and that's where we're going to build the coop That's looking much better. We filled in all that dirt. Big difference. They're chickens, not ducks, so they don't like a pond. They like to have a little bit of dirt so they can scratch on. We're gonna do the exact same thing as we did on the other video. We're gonna do a 10 by 10. So since you've already watched it and you already seen how we do the post and how we do the notches up there, then all you're gonna have to watch in this video is how we actually put down the metal built uh, metal roof on there and the go the other one. Oh, and the rafters. That's all you got to watch on this one. So we'll speed things up for you. That way you can enjoy the final little touches that we're going to do on it and see how see what you think at the end, all right? So while I was notching our post, check out what I found. It's pretty interesting, pretty crazy, honestly, how the big black bees, I uh, can't remember the name of them, hornets, wasps, I don't know. You, well, the big black ones, they... Um, make the hole. I've never actually seen how they make it just right now out of coincidence when I split it I got to see it. Look check it out. I split the post and they're right here. They started digging right there and then they start going up and I guess that's where I used to live at. There's nothing in there right now but just something interesting I figured you guys would like to see so I don't know if you ever done that before cut something in half and see what they actually dig up but that's how their house looks like. Now, we can continue. There we go. Now, on to the good stuff. Alright, so we got the rafters over here put and we got our post made now we're going to start putting the we're going to use one by sixes decking boards on top just because that's what i have left over remember i'm trying to save some money use scrap wood we're going to put it on top and then on top of that we'll put our metal roof but well, we're over here working let's see what the little boy's up to over here what are you doing santiago what are you doing let's check him out what you got you got a worm? Get some more of all your other little chickens. Grab, grab it, grab it. Oh, you got it. Come on. Here, uh, pon la mano. Pon la mano. Pon la mano. I have two. I got it. Uh 
All right, let's go give it to the chickens. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wait for me, wait for me, you're too fast. <laughs> <laughs> Baby chicks like worms, amigo. Yeah. Oh, oh, I got more. <laughs> I want some more. I want one. One more. Ooh. Ah, it's not for you to eat. <laughs> A ver, tú eat it. You eat it. You eat it, Santi. You, I eat it? Yeah, you eat it. I just play it. <laughs> His mom's gonna get mad at me if she watches this. <laughs> he really, I think he really was gonna eat it. <laughs> Here, one more. ¿Qué te lo ibas a comer? Sí. Eat it. No. <laughs> no, I'm not a chicken. Uh, don't eat it, you're not a chicken. <laughs> Last one. Last one. He dropped it. They drop it. One more. Eat it, chickens. Oh. Almost got it. Oh, got it. All right, enough fooling around. We got a chicken coop to finish up. Come on back. That was quick and easy. All I used was two by fours, threw them up on top, and just laid them down and nailed them down. It was quick. I mean, you if it's something that you're doing custom and at home and inexpensive, you can do that. You don't even have to use the uh, support beams that go across or nothing. So I did the same thing for that one. And look how good it did. Now we're going to put that metal roof on top of there and we'll be done. Well, We'll be done with the top part. We still got to do the whole siding, but I have to get the wife out here to see how she actually wants the door, how she wants the fencing. Uh, you know the rest. Let me finish this up first. That wasn't too bad. We got our metal roof all put on top. It's easier if you have one or two people helping you out. That way they can hand you the metal roof up there. They can hold you the ladder. It's just safer that way. But it's not too difficult. I bought the self-piercing roofing screws. Another thing that I learned about them is that they really aren't self-piercing. You got to tap on the back of your drill like you saw in that last one. You tap, tap on it one time and then it actually pierces and then you can drill it. The first few times I was actually putting pressure on it trying to get them to drill through and it wasn't working out. Every single one would just fly on out of there. So little things that you learn on, along the way. Another thing is that sometimes you just have to work with what you got and like I said, we're not professionals, but we like what we do. We take pride in what we do. And I showed you a few little things that we actually had to do to make this work. So, for starters, right here. As you can see, the boards that we had that went above the 2x4s didn't make it all the way out. So, we ended up having to use a small 2x4s that I actually attached on there. That way, the, the edge of the metal roof wouldn't just be hanging right there in the air. We just flop it up and down. It works, though. We got them on there real nice and sturdy and it makes it good enough to protect the chickens from any kind of water and wind. The other one is, and I have to give credit with credit to do, right? The other one was that when I first made this fence, um, I didn't account for how high I was going to make the shed. So the post that I put in was actually a lot shorter than I needed. And what we had to do was we had to pretty much extend that post and honestly, Caro, thanks to her, we made it happen. And it worked out pretty good. Let me show you what she came up with. I was actually thinking some other some other stuff and I, honestly, she had a great idea, look. So that post was only about this high and we needed it to go, as you can see, a lot higher. So what we did, she told me to notch one side and then fit it on there, put a few nails across on this side a few more nails across on this side and look at that look check it out it worked out really good it's solid it's nice and sturdy it's gonna hold for sure always listen to your wife 
Yeah, I'll give you credit on that. We'll have to listen to the wife more often. I was gonna do something different, and honestly, I don't think it's gonna come out as solid as it did. But there we go. So the easy part, of course, was putting all your boards. We put them exactly the same as we did the other side. And now the good stuff. Onto the stuff that actually gets a little bit difficult. Putting up the door, putting up the little chicken door, and putting up the fencing, which I'm still trying to figure out how we're gonna do that. Let's see. So that's where our door is gonna go. There's gonna be a little, what do you call it, Caro? Chicken door? Chicken door. All right, so that's gonna be the chicken door. We have a little square right here that's gonna be the chicken door. We're gonna leave it open, make it a little ladder. That's where they're gonna go out and free range at night. Hopefully they go back in. And then we come out here and we just close that little door back up. Still seeing how we're gonna make the little door that she wants, but I know that's where it's gonna go. So I'm gonna start cutting. I was gonna go So, little 16 by 16 door. I think that's more than enough, honestly. I've seen some 12 or 12, but I just wanted to give it a few more space because we're gonna have the uh, Easter egg, they're a little, little bit fluffier, a little bit bigger. So, 16 by 16, now we're gonna put a board all the way across and then go on, keep on going a little higher with those boards. We just put some chicken wire on top of here they should be good to go let's work on the front side now where we have to frame out the big door so she can get in and out and clean out her coop every now and then just like before you want to make sure you use your level on the bottom one that way you're secure that the rest of them are going to be nice and level don't make that mistake twice i know i did well i made it once i didn't make it twice but you get what i'm saying all right so that one's ready now we just keep on going up Now that you got your boards all the way up, next, we got to make a door. Making a door is pretty simple. So you got your beam that's going to go right here. That's your two by four. Then you got your middle beams that are going to go long ways. We're going to put one in the middle, one up top, one in the bottom. And then you grab your other side, your other two by four. Of course, that's going to go on this side. Let's nail it down. There we go. Let's fit it. Now that we know it fits nice and snug, let's go ahead and put our hinges on. We want our door to open outward. So that's why our hinges are going to go right here on the left side. So to put on the hinge, we're going to slide it in here. First, let's get our measurement. After we get our measurement, then we're going to cut out a little slit. That way it can fit nice and snug. About right here is good. I like it. Make my mark. One on top. One on the bottom. Same thing on the opposite side. Now that you got your markings, you go ahead and trace this out. One on top. One on the bottom. Now on the inside of your door frame. Now you get your oscillating tool out. Very, very handy tool to have around the house. It can be used for a lot of different projects. If you want a better review on it, comment below and I'll show you different things you can actually use this. Get this out so you can cut the little notch out on the side of your door for where the hinge is gonna go.
There we go. We got our hinges drilled in. Since I actually went a little deeper than I thought I was going to go on the door side, over here on the frame side, I didn't actually slot it. But it works out good. Let me show you how it looks whenever you close it. Let's test it out. Not too bad, not too bad. One thing I also didn't like is, if you see, it has too much play in it. But we can fix that, neighbor. Just got to keep on trying different things to see what works. Here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to put a, another 2x4 sideways, and that's going to give it an extra support. I'll show you how that works. First, you want to hold this up exactly where you want it. You can use a little piece of wood. You can put some rocks underneath. It's up to you to put something to make it hold up. I'm using a little bit of dirt and that rock. That'll hold it up in place so we can get our measurement. Using a 2x4 at an angle, that's what's going to give us our little push. That's going to give us that extra support. So I'm going to measure it up right here. Mark it. That's where I'm going to give it the cut. Now that you got your board cut, just hammer it in place. The snugger the better. Give it one more to be nice and tight. Make sure it's secure. Let's test it out. Much better. Yep, I like that much better guys. This little beam gives you a lot more support and it's not as wobbly so Little things like that guys, like I said, don't give up. Keep trying. It's your coop. It's your shed. You know how to make it nice and sturdy. So, there it is. Let's finish up this door. Got some boards up. Two more to go. We only went this high because above it, we're going to put wire on it. And really save you some money. It's cheaper to put wire than actually put wood. Even though... We are using a few pieces of scrap wood I found, all right? One more door, and then we'll put the wire on. Now it's on to a nice little chicken door that they're gonna be able to come in and out. Let's go do that one. All right, so for this little door, since it's a nice little square, we're actually just gonna grab a big piece of plywood, <laughs> and we're gonna hold it up, trace it in the back, and then that'll make it easier, and you know it's gonna be perfectly nice and tight. Ready? Yeah. All right, Santi. I'm waiting. Let's see if we can hold it up. You're gonna hold this up? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. You're gonna hold it right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's in the floor. You're gonna hold it right there. Yeah. Pull it, pull it to me. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> you got it? Can you hold it? Yeah. Alright, hold it with your head. I think he's got it. I think he's got it. Ready? Hold it tight, Santi. There you go. We got it. Alright, let go, Santi. <laughs> he did a really good job. I will help you. Now that my little helper helped me measure it up. We got it nice and cut. I can see you go. Let's fit it on there. The other way. Hey, Bobby. I'm going to go inside. Okay, Bobby? Yeah. There we go. It fits. It fits, right, Santi? Yeah. This one, since it's such a small door, I'm not going to be using door hinges. I bought these cabinet style hinges. They're going to do just fine. Bobby. You got I it? I need this. Yeah, I need it. Okay. So I can give you one? Yeah. Hold the screws. Oh, the. Thank you. You're welcome. We have a lot of things to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, you gotta go hold it. Oh no. You gotta go hold it. <laughs> he loves being out here with me. Oh, there you go. Hold it right there. Oh. <laughs> Too much. It's okay, Bobby. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. We can fix it later. We can fix it. <laughs> yeah. Alright, here we go. And there it is. Nice little door. Yep. See, it's not that hard, neighbor. If I can do it, I know you can do it too. Pretty simple. We put two little, we grabbed a small two by four. We cut it in hot half. And we put one on each side. That way it's a little door stopper and it doesn't get pushed all the way in. And then your hinges become flimsy. They're locked up and safe. Now we got to get the netting there. up here. The wire netting. That is the important part because that keeps them safe away from predators. Who is it? It's Santi, guys. Hi. I have vlogged. Now you go right here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to play a little bit before we continue, all right? We'll get right back to you. Bobby, go right there. Okay. okay. Go, okay? Well, what are you doing, Aver? We're almost done. 
We put up this hardware cloth here behind the scenes, but I'm still gonna show you how to do it, all right? So you pick up this hardware cloth, it's nice and sturdy, it's very small square, and then you put it up on this, here I'll put it on the outside, on the door I'll put it on the inside. Now we're gonna put it on this side and show you how it's done, all right? Yeah. Tools you'll be needing is a staple gun. Very inexpensive neighbor. $25 at Harbor Freight. Staple gun, it will save you lots of time instead of using small staples and hammers, right? So I'll pick that up at Harbor Freight. I'll be later doing a review on it because it works real great and I really like it for, the, for how much it actually costs. Since we have two exact sides, this side and that side, we didn't want to waste too much on wire, money, you know? So what we did is we bought one that is 36 inches and then one is 24 inches. From here to the right, we'll be using the 24 inches. From here to the left, we'll be using the 36 inches. They're both 10 footer, we'll cut them in half. We'll use half over there and do the same. That way we can save ourselves some money, guys. Let's get started. simple neighbors we didn't get a chance to actually show you how to put it up it was kind of a little harder than we thought and I needed uh, my wife's help and you know we struggled a little bit but now that we got it up <laughs> now that we got it up I usually show you how to use your stapler staple it in place cut a few few little spots here and there that way you can secure it on there and that's it guys it's that simple here's your safety glasses we already got this corner secured. Just go down the line and put a few more staples. I'm telling you, $25, definitely worth the money. There's gonna be a few parts like this that are gonna be overhanging. All you gotta do is use your scissors and cut it. Pretty simple material to work with. There you go. Now we can staple it just a little bit more so we can secure it in there and we'll be done guys. We're in the final stretch guys. We are. We got our wire put up so they'll be secure. Now we just gotta build them a nice little ladder so they can get in and get out. And then we'll be completed with our nice little project. I got a two by four set up right here. And then I had a, a one by five laying around. I know that's a hard measurement to get. You could use a two by four. Try not to use something too wide because if you have goats like we do, they can actually crawl, like walk up the little ladder and try to get in there and get the chicken feed, which is not good. So try to use something on the narrow side where just the chickens can actually get up there. All right, we put our ladder up against there. We first check and make sure we can close our door. Now that we know we're good, we nail it down. Now, we just put these across there. I'm using two by fours, but be creative. Use what you got. You can use just regular tree branches laying around, or you can use any other kind of piece of wood you have laying around. All it is for is to help them actually climb up in there. But chickens are pretty agile, so you don't really have to use too much. And we're done. Let's see the final project, see how it came out, guys. And that's another project done, neighbors. We got the outside done for a chicken coop. On a later video, we'll be doing one where we're gonna actually do the roost and do a little swing and, you know, do the whole nine yards inside that chicken coop. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you share it with someone else because it's about getting out there and having fun, guys. Even though it did take us a few days, a few trips to the store back and forth and every now and then a few frustrations trying to figure out what we we're doing along the way that's how it goes guys but have fun while you're doing it enjoy the process and take pride in what you do till next time neighbors take care mm -hmm.